Below the picturesque hills of southern Rwanda's Yarunguru district, Giovanni's Kiyomugisha feeds her cows with a little help from her children. The 37-year-old is about to finish her morning chores so she can take her three youngest children to a nearby clinic for vaccination. Okwishaka, hope and gift will be immunized against measles and rubella as part of a three-day nationwide campaign targeting 5 million children under the age of 15. The exercise is an initiative of Rwanda's Ministry of Health with support from United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, World Health Organization, WHO and Gavi Alliance. Kiyomugisha says a measles outbreak in the area last year infected all her five children. This is a terrible sickness. It is the worst sickness that my children have ever suffered from. They had high fever, diarrhea and constant cough. Both measles and rubella are contagious viral diseases spread through droplets produced by coughing and sneezing from an infected person. Globally, measles is the leading cause of death in children under the age of five, according to UNICEF. Rubella, also known as German measles, has similar symptoms to those of measles, which include redness of eyes, rash, coughing and muscle pain, making it difficult for health workers to differentiate between the two illnesses. Rubella can be lethal to unborn children or cause serious birth defects if a pregnant woman contracts it. Over the last decade, Rwanda has successfully managed to significantly cut down measles infections. In 2000, some 2,700 cases were reported, whereas 2012 only had 80, according to UNICEF. However, rubella infections have increased. There were 62 cases in 2011, up from 35 in 2008, raising concern among health authorities that rubella was becoming a public health problem. It's extremely significant for child survival that the measles rubella combined vaccine is able to be introduced into Rwanda today. It will literally save lives. And those girls who have been vaccinated today, the future mothers, are now also protected. So there's a layer of protection around the children and a layer of protection around the future children. The dual vaccine is in line with Rwanda's attempts to boost child survival rates. The country has so far reduced mortality numbers by over 60% in the last two decades. Over 6,000 nurses and 18,000 community health workers like Belena Bidisenge have been mobilized for the campaign. Desenge says the health workers are playing a vital role in raising awareness about the importance of the dual vaccine in communities and making sure children are immunized. When the vaccination period is about to begin, community health workers register all the children who are supposed to be vaccinated. We then send that information to the health centre and keep a copy for ourselves. When the campaign begins, we go to the vaccination sites and cross-check the information to know who has been vaccinated and who has not. Rwanda aims to make vaccination part of the government's routine immunisation programme by 2014.